What is up schoolmates? Muli tayo nagbabalik dito pa rin sa UP Diliman para sa selebrasyon ng Science, Technology and Society Month 2018. Ngayon naman guys, bibisitahin natin ang exhibit ng Philippine Microsat. Kaya ano pa, hinintay natin. Tara na! Together with me now is Mr. Ariston Gonzalez. He is a researcher of the Project Diwata 1 and 2. Hi, sir. At tanong ko lang po, para sa mga hindi pamilyar, ano po ba ang Diwata 1 and 2? Okay, so, Diwata 1 and Diwata 2 are microsatellites. So, ito, isang kategory ito ng satellite na under 100 kilograms. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kumpara dun sa mga traditional na malalaking satellite, ito yung malilit na version. So, yung Diwata 1, uh, ito yung una nating microsatellite na nilunch into space. So actually, ito nag-orbit na in space right now, even right now. Started yung development around December 2014. And then we launched it into space April 27, 2016. So roughly, ano na, two and a half years in orbit. We call it an Earth Observation Satellite. What it means that it takes images of the Earth. Ang example niyan, images of Manila and then other portions of the Philippines and even other parts of the world actually. But for Diwata 1, the main purpose namin is for helping uh, national uh, issues. For example, in disaster response, we take an image of an area, yun yung before na photo niya, and then after dumahan yung calamity, we take another photo. So as simple as before and after, meron ka ng comparison. Even as this small, we're already conducting what we call a multi-spectral image, meaning we can assess yung damage on an analytical level. So hindi lang siya visual na okay, may nasira. Kasi we can also calculate yung extent talaga niya. Ngayon sir, we have Diwata 1. Nandito po kayo para din sa Diwata 2. And nandito po ata ang Diwata 2. Ano naman po ang meron sa Diwata 2, sir? Diwata 2 actually will have the same kind of uh, mission. So, Earth observation pa rin siya will still take images. Uh -huh. Pero ang bago dito is we've included also experimental components. So, example nun is uh, amateur radio module na tinatawag namin. So, which means uh, using special kind of walkie-talkie, anyone with that uh, radio and then tuning it to the frequency that we have, they can communicate with uh, using Diwata 2. So, ang example niyan is during calamities, may mga area na down yung traditional cell sites. So, yung communications between other agencies is uh, challenging. So, what we do is we can roll out what we call amateur radios. So, imbis na may cell site ka, meron pang satellite as your point of communication. The main difference between between Diwata 2 and 1. So, Diwata 1 was launched at 400 kilometers above the Earth. Yes, this one will be much higher. So, 600 kilometers. So what it means is that yung lifespan niya, yun, tsaka yung coverage niya mas malaki, yung lifespan niya mas matagal bago mag-decay uh, yung orbit niya back to Earth. So yun yung isa mga main advantages. Also, dito sa Diwata 1, yung inclination namin, challenging. Meaning, yung nangya, ang impact sa mission namin, hindi regular yung pagdating niya over Philippines. So minsan 2 p.m., minsan uh, maga 10 a.m., minsan naman gabi. Pag gabi, wala kami makuha image kasi madilim. <laughs> So with this one, it will have a what we call a sun-synchronous orbit. So meaning mas regular na, for every 1 p.m. darating siya. We can take images. Uh, what we do is we partner actually with Japan. So this project is what we call PHL Microsat Project. So this is a project uh, funded by the DOST. And then uh, in partnership with UP Diliman and Japanese universities, Tohoku University and Hokkaido University, we were able to uh, formulate and come up with a plan of a microsatellite. But of course, the engineers who have worked with this and designed the satellite are Filipinos. The launch neto is on October 29, yes, 12:08 uh, p.m. noon. So noon time siya. Pwede ng mapanood ng lahat. So you can visit our website in uh, dostasti.gov.ph. So meron kami streaming dun na ilalagay ng uh, launch neto when time time come. Napakarami mga exciting events dito sa UP Diliman Science, Technology and Society Month 2018. Kaya guys, huwag niyong palampasin dahil open to all ang mga activities na ito. Kaya guys, for more campus events updates, stay tuned dito lang sa Schoolmates Campus Journal.